Oh. Happy Monday! <laughs> Happy Monday! <laughs> so we are enjoying ourselves today, yes, and we, are. we just want to um, share with you our Monday message. Mm -hmm. And today it is actually based on one of my most recent favorite um, scriptures, just one of them, and it's Exodus six and three. And in that scripture, uh, God is talking to Moses, and He tells him that. Uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob knew him as God Almighty, mm -hmm. but they didn't know him as Jehovah. As Jehovah. And that I love because he was about to take Moses on a journey. And whether you are deep in your Bible or not, um, it is a common story. And so, you know, you all may know the story of Moses leading um you know, the Exodus, and this is in the book of Exodus. So if you don't know about mm -hmm. it, please, you know, look it up, read about it. It is a very powerful story. And right now, I just want to share about how God is being Jehovah in our lives. You know, he's so amazing, God Almighty, but they didn't know him as Jehovah. And so how do we get to know God? You know, what's our relationship with God? How is he showing up in a way that he hasn't shown up for anybody before? Like, what is that for you? Is he being your provider? Is he being your healer? Is he being your prince of peace? What is that to you? How do you feel about it? Um, personally, I love it. Um, I love that as, um, as my journey um walking with christ excuse me guys little bucks as my journey walking with christ i get to i get to know him differently mm -hmm. more intimately it's so intimate um in ways where when you're growing up you might think of the word intimacy as something very different um but it is very it's it's very beautiful the way that when he is when you know him as jehovah and which Jehovah you know him as for whatever time, whatever season, or whatever the rest of that walk with him may be. Mm -hmm. um, because we we may recognize him as, you know, just Jehovah, like, plainly. But when it is, it is that time of, this isn't just like a one-time event, a one-time moment where, okay, I healed you. No, it might be a season of, okay you're healed from something that is inexplainable you are mm. whoever might be in your family just because i am jehovah mm -hmm. and the power that he puts within us and to know him in a certain way when you can get down on your knees and pray and you got somebody over wherever they may be another place another state and he is being that Jehovah to you, that is extended out to them. It goes around. Like, this is not, like, just a regular, we know God heals. We know God does things. It is it's just such a, it's such a special thing to know him in a way, um, in a way that only he can, he can be who he is in that time of need to where you have no choice but to know him as that, but to recognize that name. But to call on that name, for him to be there, because he shows up. Our God does not never show up. Like, he will be there. And he comes in his timing. So, even if there's something that you're going through, and you think that, um, you know, like, well, there's no Jehovah here for me. Um, be careful with, like, those kind of thoughts, because God is always there. But where is your heart at? Where is your mind at? What are you clearing out to make room for God? What are you clearing out to make room for him to be that Jehovah? Are you depending on a paycheck for him to be that provider? Are you depending, depending on this unemployment from coronavirus? Like, what is it that you are, that you might be blocking unintentionally, like not on purpose, but unintentionally for him to really just be there and show up for you in the way that he wants to? Because God does not want us to fail. We are his children. We are pieces of light of him. We shine. We are his examples. Like, he wants to be there for us. So how are we letting him in so he can be that Jehovah? Right now, right now, for me, he is being my Jehovah Shalom, my Prince of Peace. Yes, Prince Because of peace. there has been too many things happening that have been attacking me and taking me out of just my character in general. And when you could know and recognize the things that are coming against you, you can know what you need to call on for help. You're going to need to, you need to know, like, 
this is this is this is my refuge right here. Mm -hmm. This is about who's this is who's about to show up for me. And um and for me right now that is definitely um my Prince of Peace, Jehovah Shalom. Jehovah Shalom. And I love that what you were saying because God shows up in our life to get the glory. He shows up in our life right. to be there for us, to uh -huh. take care of us. Okay. There is nothing that we have to be, nothing that we are, nothing that we can be um, to qualify us mm. to be children of God, yeah. to be eligible for him to be there for us. There's nothing until we start to release and understand and acknowledge we're not our own provider. Right. I don't care what businesses uh -huh. we run. I don't care how, what's, how profitable our uh -huh. month has been. We are not our provider. And the really great thing that I feel that's happening during this pandemic is so many things have just been shifted, turned upside down. Yes. The things that we've depended on, that we've been doing, have changed. Uh -huh. And unless you know God to be your provider, your Jehovah Jireh, you might be struggling. And even the ones that do know that, I love it because these are the moments where there is nothing at all we can do in our power to be our own provider, uh -huh. to be our own peace, to be our own healers, nothing. Yeah. It's all from God. And when we recognize that and realize that, he really has an opportunity, a, just a beautiful opportunity to show up and be Jehovah. Because when people ask, I remember my daughter was sick um, not too long ago, Sorry. and it wasn't Corona, um, really high fever. There was a lot. There was a lot. I won't it go was. into all the details. Yeah. There was a lot. And we are prayer warriors. We are mothers, daughters of prayer warriors. This is something that comes down in our family from our aunts, all, generation to generation. We know how to call on the name of the Lord and we understand how God moves. That's just something that we've been blessed with and I thank God for it. And as my daughter was sick, I prayed for her and it wasn't no strong, powerful calling all the heaven down and pleading the blood. It wasn't all of that. It was a prayer to God. Hail my daughter. My daughter is very sick. And we can't be roaming around in these hospitals right now with Corona. She needs to be healed. My daughter was healed. That was that. That's what happens. And I was sharing the story with a friend. And they were like, okay, but what did you do? I prayed. See? And they're like, okay, okay. But then what did you do? I prayed. Like, there doesn't have to be another step after that i prayed i turned it over to god i talked with god i'm not saying hospitals you don't need to take your kids to hospital absolutely yes you do if you feel led to take your child to hospital doctors are here for a reason mm -hmm. but god is also our healer and so if that is a moment that i knew he was letting me know my daughter would be okay my child will be okay i will heal her and i prayed and i had peace and yeah. she had peace and we slept just fine. Woke up in the morning and she was fine. She was healed. Jesus. So Moving around like any other morning. And these are um, these are this is how God can show up because there is nothing I could do to heal my child. There was nothing I could take her to the doctor and give her medicine to try to help ease symptoms, to try to make her comfortable, whatever the case may be. That doesn't mean she's cured and doesn't mean she's healed. We don't have that power, but God does. She didn't need a piece of medicine or nothing. She just needed the power of God to touch her, for us to call on him and ask, God, we need you to be Jehovah. We need you to be healer right now in this moment. We didn't have to lose our mind and get crazy, screaming and hollering around. Just acknowledge that we know we don't have the power, but you do. We know we don't have the power to provide, but you do. We know we don't have the power in the midst of all this chaos to walk in peace like we just born that way. Because we're not. We were born and raised in New York. We're not just naturally peaceful. <laughs> That's not how we do. That is not how. And then you run around with five kids? No. When people see us and they say things like, oh, we see the light of God in you. That's exactly what they see. The light of God. <laughs> The grace of God. She's laughing because it's because true. Because it's true. I mean, the true things are it's what are most true. funny. It's um, true. It, God it will give you his peace. Oh, and I love it because and it's, it's biblical, y'all. Peace, that's a passive all understanding. Mm -hmm. 
see us with these kids sometimes. See us walking around and doing the work of the Lord, being sent to places that don't make sense sometimes. And you wonder, how can you be at peace? Yeah. It's the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. And when you're in that place, he can show you things that he wouldn't be able to show you. He can love on you in ways he wouldn't be able to love on you if your mind wasn't full of so many other things. The things that the devil tries to attack us with, like yeah. depression, anxiety, fear. When we let, It's not easy to let all them Feeling things go. Defeated. Yeah, like but when defeated. we let them go... It is room for God to really show up because that's when he's Jehovah, when we can't do nothing else, when we've run out of all options. So how is God being Jehovah to you today? Let us know, y'all. We love you. I know this is long. It's hot out here. I know we had a little bit of fun with this, but it's in all fun and games is serious. And we hope that we have inspired you. I hope that you go back and read through the book of um, the book of Exodus. And I just love it. It's Exodus 6 and 3 where God is talking to Moses. And I mean, and that's ahead of the game, y'all. This is before he started doing all of that. I will I will start going. Okay. All right. Bye, y'all. We love you. We Send us get, any prayer um, requests or Bible requests to right. chettisgirls.org. Yes. Love you. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.